So MoneyGram got hacked a couple of weeks ago, and we all saw it in the news. But they have now confirmed that data was stolen during the breach. What kind of data are we talking about? Customer names, uh, contact details, including phone numbers, email and postal addresses, date of birth, social security number to a limited extent, government identification documents, copies such as driver's license, license scans, identity documents, utility bills, bank account numbers, transaction details as such as dates and amount of transactions, reward program numbers, information tied to criminal investigations, for example, fraud. This is huge, but what does it mean for us? Stay tuned, we'll be right back. It's an important topic because MoneyGram has disclosed that data was stolen during the cyber attack that they had. You know, it's funny how we often think of ourselves as invulnerable, especially when it comes to personal information. We go about our daily lives, scrolling through social media, uh, sending money to friends, family, uh, sharing bits and pieces of ourselves online, all while believing that our data is safe and sound. But then out of nowhere, we hear about a massive data breach and suddenly that bubble of security burst. Just recently, MoneyGram, a service many of us rely on for sending and receiving money, found itself in the crossroads of a cyber attack and the implications are huge. Now, let's break this down a bit. MoneyGram, as you probably know, is one of those companies that lets you send money across the globe with just a few clicks. It's convenient, it's quick, and for many, it's like a lifeline. But with convenience comes vulnerability. When a company like MoneyGram gets hacked, it's not just their systems that are at risk. It's our personal data too. We're talking names, addresses, phone numbers, maybe even more sensitive financial information. And if you think about it, it's pretty terrifying. Imagine waking up one morning to find out that your information is out there floating around in the dark corners of the internet, the dark web, just waiting to be exploited. You might think, oh, well, I don't have anything to worry about. It's just a regular person or I'm just a regular person. But here's the thing. Hackers do not discriminate. They're not just targeting the wealthy or the famous. They are going after anyone whose data they can use for their gain. Identity theft, uh, fraud, you name it, it's a real risk and it's more common than we would like to believe. So what exactly happened with MoneyGram? Well, it appears that the attackers managed to breach their systems and gain access to a treasure trove of customer data. And so we're still waiting for all the details to emerge, but you can bet that cybersecurity experts are scrambling to figure out how this happened and more importantly, how to prevent it from happening again. It's like uh, a wake up call for all of us. It's, if a company like MoneyGram, which handles millions of transactions every day, can fall victim to a cyber attack, what does that say about the security of our personal data everywhere else? Let's take a moment to think about what this means for us as consumers. First and foremost, it is a reminder that we need to be vigilant. We can't just sit back and assume that companies are doing everything that they can to protect our information. It's on us to take steps to safeguard our data. This means using strong, unique passwords for our accounts, enabling two-factor authentication wherever possible, and being cautious about the information we share online. It might seem like a hassle, but trust me, it's worth it to protect yourself. And then there's the emotional toll uh, a breach like this will have. It can leave you feeling exposed, anxious, violated. It's not just about the money, it's about trust. When we use services like MoneyGram, we're putting our faith in their ability to keep our information safe. So when that trust is shattered, it could be a hard pill to swallow. You start to question every transaction, every piece of information you've shared. Is this really safe? Should I even be using this service? It's a cycle of doubt and it can be exhausting, but there's but here's this thing, while we can't control what happens to our data once it's out there, we can control how we respond. You see, if you're a user or you're using MoneyGram, it's crucial to stay informed about what the company's doing in the wake of this breach. I mean, 
Are they offering free credit monitoring services? Are they being transparent about the information was compromised? Uh, these are important questions to ask. And if you find that these responses isn't satisfactory, it might be time to consider other options for sending money. Now, I know that some of you might be thinking, but I've been using MoneyGram for years and I've never had a problem. Well, that's a fair point. Many people have used services without any issues, but just because you haven't experienced a breach personally, doesn't mean it can't happen to you. You see, cybersecurity is like constantly evolving. You know, it's like a battlefield. And what was secure yesterday might not be secure today. It's all about being proactive rather than reactive. And let's not forget about the broad implications of data breaches like this one. There is questions about the responsibility of companies to protect our information. Uh, shouldn't they be held um, accountable for their security measures? Shouldn't there be stricter regulations in place to ensure that our data is treated with some utmost care? There are the conversations that we need to have as a society because at the end of the day, our data is valuable asset and we deserve to have it protected. I hope this has done good for you today, guys, and we will talk about it again in another video. Take it easy. Take care.